Hi Taurus, thank you for being here with me. Let's do your daily reading. Whoops, that this match is some of these matches are broken. Spirits, angels, guides, please come with us. Show me what Taurus needs to know, spirits. What does Taurus need to know? Let's just shuffle the cards three times, Taurus. Okay, Taurus, let's find out what's going on. What's happening with Taurus? Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords, the Empress in reverse, and the Queen of Wands. What's happening with Taurus? The Four of Pentacles. The hangman. It looks like you are not in your element right now, Taurus, because this empress is you and you're showing up in reverse. What's happening with Taurus? King of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Um, we have Pisces energy with, with the hangman. And Aries is here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is here. Your very first card in the reading, Taurus, is you're showing up as the Queen of Swords. So there's something here that I'm feeling like you may be making a head over heart decision. Something where you're trying to think very logically. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Three of Swords. Okay, so this is heartbreak, pain. So whatever you're doing here, you're definitely making a head over heart decision. But I'm seeing you here. Um, there's something that you're wanting to fight for. And I don't see you backing down. You're, you're standing up for something here. There's a fight. You even have two different shoes on. It's like there's something here that needs to get done. Something needs to be said. You could be dealing with a cancer. But this is the fastest moving energy in tarot. So this is taking control. Moving ahead very quickly. Towards something that's new. something that you're very passionate about and then the empress which is you taurus this showed up in reverse so you're not in your element you're making a head over heart decision here why is the empress here spirits it's almost like i feel like you're angry about something and i'm seeing heartbreak there why is the empress here we have all the queens here, which makes sense because you are the empress. I don't think we have the queen of cups, though. So. Why is the empress here? You could be dealing with a Leo. Magician is here. This is Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini energy. You're manifesting something that's difficult. Um, 
trying to stay in control of your emotions here. I feel like you're trying to force something though. Trying to make something happen. You are showing up here, you know, in this very stable energy. But, you know, of the Queen of Pentacles. So this is a motherly type, very grounded person. Male or female. But you're trying to tame a lion with your bare hands. With strength showing up. And make something happen. And then we have the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Spirits. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Seven of Swords. Six of Wands. There's the Queen of Cups. We have all of the Queens in the first row. There's someone else in your energy here that is um, trying to be recognized, trying to make a grand entrance. It's like I'm getting this energy of someone who's being very showy, but there's something, this person is deceptive with the Seven of Swords, so this is someone who's either lying, cheating, or stealing, but I'm seeing you here finding out the truth with the Ace of Swords. There's also a wish fulfillment here, Taurus. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. But um, I'm seeing like financial gain coming in and success here. Whoever's being sneaky with you showing up as the Queen of Cups, this is someone that you love. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Okay. We have death, which is Scorpio energy. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. There's a betrayal here. With the three of swords, I'm seeing someone who's juggling. Someone that could have put you in a third party. I'm seeing a family. There could be a family with children. A blended family. This, whoever you're dealing with, they are breadcrumbing you. They're giving you very little. They're holding back. It's like something here is coming to an end with death. Let me find out why death is here because it's like, I'm not sure. Something's, some type, some type of information is being found out. I'm seeing you finding out information about someone who's being sneaky. Why is the hangman here? The two of pentacles. The six of pentacles. You could be dealing with somebody who's ghosting you here. And so, um, there's just someone who's not being completely honest. Someone who's holding back. But I'm seeing you finding out information. And I see this person will be traveling towards you with the aid of wands. Or they could be sending you messages back and forth but i'm not seeing you taking any action you're standing your ground this is exactly what i told you is someone is breadcrumbing you giving you very little because they're juggling what 
why is the five of cups here? Someone could be in jail. Why is the five of cups here? There could be children here. There's arguments here. There could be drugs. Someone could have some type of an addiction. But it's really, you know, I'm seeing you really up in your emotions here about making a judgment call within a connection. Because there's a lot of petty arguments. This is a soulmate connection. And um, I feel like you're feeling like you're not really sure how to proceed forward. There's sadness here. And then we have the King of Swords. This is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Okay, so we have the King of Wands here looking at the world. So this is someone who, who is determined. They've made a decision and they're, they could be at a distance from you, but they've made a decision here. And this is someone who goes after what they want. There's something about the Nine of Wands of someone not giving up. They've made a decision, and I actually feel like it's you, Taurus, because your energy is the King of Swords. So, I kind of feel like you're just ready to close something out. Because you're dealing with a player. This is, I'm seeing someone here that is just really, really annoying. Someone who just really likes to be recognized. It's like this person is all for show. And even you are irritated with whoever this person is. With the Nine of Wands. And then we have the Fool. Why is the Fool here? The Nine of Swords, Ten of Cups, okay, so I'm seeing you in this energy of the Fool, so this is taking a leap of faith, starting over new, um, not really knowing what the future holds, but starting a new journey because I'm seeing that you've been trying to give your love because you do see this connection as your Ten of Cups, but um, there's a lot of worry here, probably sleepless nights, a lot of repeated thoughts. This is like the nightmare card, you know, because this is your Ten of Cups in your mind. You're happily ever after. And then we have the, the Three of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? No, oh, Taurus, I think you're moving into calmer water. See another three. A third party situation. Why is the six of swords here? Yeah, you're moving away because I'm seeing you turning your back on the past, looking out into the future, um, and deciding that 
you know, you're looking disappointed here. Like you put a lot of time, energy, effort, love. You put yourself into this connection and there's no growth. So this is why I see you moving away, Taurus, with the Six of Swords. It's like for right now, you, you're you feeling like there's nothing I can do here but move away. Pull myself out of it. Away from this. Okay, so let's get a Angel Answer card. What does Taurus need to know? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So I'm feeling like for the time being, you need to separate yourself from someone here. This situation involves marriage. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically re att attractive. And codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And let me get your advice, Taurus. Advice for Taurus spirits. What does Taurus need to know? Advice for Taurus. Okay, you are unlimited. What you can create is unlimited. You have a sensitive antenna. Sensitive people collect the emotions of others. And breathe love into your life. Remind yourself to breathe. Let it out. Let it flow. Open up your the heart to feel. Okay, Taurus. So these are the messages spirits have for you. I hope they help. Thank you so much for being here, Taurus. Thank you for liking and subscribing. I love you guys. And I will see you tomorrow for your daily reading. Namaste, Taurus.